What is the general system requirements of alternator? For the generation of EMF, there should be two basic systems. Magnetic field system to produce magnetic field. Amateur system which houses the conductors on which the EMF is to be induced. Why the air gap between the pole pieces and the amateur is kept very small? The air gap between pole pieces and the amateur is kept very small to keep field strength at its highest value. This is due to the reason the flux lines can pass through iron very easily than the air gap. The small air gap generates high voltage. Larger the air gap means stronger must be magnetizing force to produce required voltage. Hence the air gap is kept very small. Why is the efficiency of a three phase induction motor is less than that of a three phase transformer? Three phase induction motor is nothing but a rotating transformer. Due to rotating nature, there are friction and windage losses associated with it. On the other hand, the three phase transformer is a static device, thus there are no rotational losses. Thus the efficiency of three phase induction motor is less than that of three phase transformer. What are the advantages and disadvantages of short pitched winding? The advantages are, they save copper for end connections, they improve the waveform of a generated EMF. The generated EMF can be made to approximate to a sine wave more easily and the distorting harmonics can be reduced. The disadvantages are the total voltage around the coils is somewhat reduced because the voltage induced in the two coils sides are slightly out of phase. What is meant by short pitched winding? If the coil span is less than the pole pitch, the winding is called as short pitched winding. It is also known as short corded winding. What is meant by full pitched winding? If the coil span is equal to pole pitch, the winding is called as full pitched winding. Define coil span. The distance between the two coil sides of a coil is called as coil span. It may be expressed in electrical degrees or in number of slots. Define pole pitch. The distance between the centers of two adjacent poles is called pole pitch. One pole pitch is equals to 180 electrical degrees. It is also defined as the number of slots per pole. What are the various types of rotors used in alternators? Salient pole rotor and non-salient pole rotor and cylindrical rotor are used in alternators. Will the alternators have rotating amateur system or stationary amateur system? Generally in alternators, the amateur is stationary and the field rotates. Small low voltage alternators often have a rotating armature and a stationary field winding. But in large alternators, rotating armature field type is used. What are the advantages of a stationary armature and rotating field system? The stationary armature coils can be insulated easily. Higher peripheral speed can be achieved in the rotor. Cooling of the winding is more efficient. Only two slip rings are required to give DC supply to the field system. Output current can be easily supplied to the load circuit. Slip rings and brushes are not necessary. What is meant by stator and what is meant by rotor? In electrical machine, AC and DC motor or generator, the stationary member is called as stator. Similarly, in all machines, the rotating member is known as rotor. What are the advantages of three phase motor over single phase motor? Three phase motors are having higher starting torques, improved speed regulation, less vibration, quieter operation compared to the single phase motor. What is the basic principle of operation of alternators DC generators? They are working on the fundamental principle based on Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. These laws states that when a current carrying conductor moves in magnetic field, it induces an EMF. How to minimize the eddy current losses? When the core is laminated and insulated from each other with paper or varnish, the eddy current loss is minimized. What is meant by turbo alternators? Turbo alternators are high speed alternators because of high speed of rotation. The rotor diameter is reduced and axial length is increased. Two or four poles are generally used and steam turbines are used as prime movers.